nice job in this film. Do you end up with a film that you set out to make? Uh, Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's more for us. It's a more the film that George wanted to make. But I'm very happy, and I think he's also genuinely really pleased by what we were able to accomplish. I'm assuming, but when I look at the film last night, one one of the things I thought of is is here's people who thought of what they wanted to do and then did it. Was there? Did you do everything you wanted to do in this film? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the stuff we didn't know how we were going to do. So it's quantum leap of faith. And it's interesting to be able to start something this big and not really know how you're going to achieve it. But we had such a great group of people, and uh, both George and I have such faith in, in the various companies that were involved in making the movie, like Industrial Light Magic and Skywalker Sound, that it, um, it was more a question of management, just relentless, um, a relentless amount of time and a, a relentless amount of people over a four and a half year period. That was the hardest thing to manage to keep that enthusiasm going. But genuinely, it was probably, well, it was the best experience of my life. And it was so much fun because every day you arrive at work and you have no idea where George comes up with his stuff. And it's, it's um, electric. And I think everybody felt mm -hmm. that. Uh, but we're genuinely very, very, very pleased. We were able. We had a dream, we had a vision, we had an idea that um, uh, challenged everybody, and we cracked it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. but let's let's uh, approach. Did two you like it? By yes, the way. very much Good. so. Let's approach two groups of people. One is the Star Wars fans who, yep. who line up no matter what, and are already lining up, because it's probably it's probably the biggest movie opening in my lifetime. Um, address them, and what do you want to tell them? Have faith. See it many, many times. There will always be something there for you each time you see it. Um, but I think have faith, you know. There's so much rumors and so much junk going out on the internet and all flying all over the place, but you will love it. It's fantastic. Now, let's address the people who are not necessarily, they, they know about the films, and they might even casually like the films, but they're not hardcore fans. What do you say to them? Um, if you have a child, if you feel like a child ever, if you ever ask yourself why do you do the things that you do, come and see this movie because it's, it's a film that tells you why and how um, uh, we do the things that we do, the good things and the bad things. So I think it's got a lot for everybody. I think it's a, it's a really interesting story. There's a lot of stuff going on behind it um, that is not just kid related but also adult related. I think it's transgenerational. It certainly crosses all cultures. There's a basic yearning that we all have in life to find out who we're going to be and uh, why we become the people we are. And I think that drives the basic premise of the whole saga, because it basically is just the saga of a family mm -hmm. and the consequences of what happens to you when you do bad things. There is not, I don't remember, <clears throat> a drop of blood in your film. Is that there intentional? Isn't. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you I know, mean, did you sit down and actually think about that and decide that? Well, or to just play out yes, that way. no, it's it, it's not something. Blood and guts is not a big thing for us. You know, it really is the characters and what happens to them. They have to meet formidable odds because that's ultimately the rite of passage that each person has to go through. What happens to you when you're blocked? Um, do you have the inner strength? Do you have the character? Is it genetic? Is it your environment? Is it the fact that you're mm -hmm. compassion or are you greedy? Do you think you're better than somebody else? What gets you through? the daily obstacles that all of us have to face. That's really what the picture is about. Last question. Have you ever lined up for anything? Uh, Star Wars. I saw Star Wars the second day it came out. I waited in line for four and a half hours and was completely blown away. And here you are. And here I am. It's such a weird, serious brain damage for me. Well, so you understand the force. Absolutely. There you go. Nice to see you.